Hey there, and welcome back to another video. In this quick and easy tutorial, I'll show you how to install Alpaca AI into your computer. So firstly, we're going to be using github.com in order to find all the files for Alpaca AI. Just copy the link as found here in this video to see all the files you need to download to install Alpaca AI. For this one, we're going to be installing version 1.0.5, which is, at the moment of this video, the latest version of Alpaca AI. As you can see, these are all the details that you can find on the website for GitHub and all the different changes and contributors for this Alpaca AI program. Here, underneath the assets portion of this website, you'll find all the different files to install on your operating system of choice. So make sure to download the correct installer for the operating system you wish to use. Now, once that's downloaded, go ahead and click on the open feature to start the application setup process. So if you do try to run this program on Windows and you see this pop-up box, go ahead and click on more info in order to see the run anyway button to continue installing the Alpaca AI program. So it's a simple case of running the installer and following the steps as shown here to complete the Alpaca AI installation. Of course, you have to choose a proper file path in order to install this properly. Once you've chosen a proper file path and everything, go ahead and click on confirm, and there you go. You now have Alpaca Electron installed in your computer. This way, you can access a local AI chatbot without being connected to the internet. So if ever you need an AI linguistics platform, well, you have one at any time, anywhere. And that's really all there is to installing Alpaca AI through GitHub onto your Windows computer. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you have any other questions or queries, as usual, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this one. And thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.